Morning, bro. It's three in the afternoon. Weren't you gonna look for an apartment today? <coughs> okay. I will. I will. I just cleaned this. Mm. God, you weren't such a pain in the ass when we were kids. Why are you all dressed up? I have a date. You have a date? What, the one I fixed you up with? Fr from the internet? Yep. And if she is as great as she seems, I might even forgive you for posting that ad. Uh, Todd, y y you never did exchange pictures, huh? Nope. It's just a coffee date. Besides, she says she's above average in appearance. Above average. I, I warned you about internet inflation, right? Inflation? If they say average, that means homely. Now, VGL, very good looking. That means average. What about people who really are VGL? Well, good luck finding them on the internet. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I was wondering, are you... Whoa, whoa, watch it. Sorry, I, I thought you were this guy. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> You're not my type anyway. Oh, um... Sorry. This is my table. You don't have a drink or anything. Okay, this is ridiculous. You can't just steal another person's table. Lucy, you're not going to make a scene, are you? You people are so dramatic. You people. And by you people, do you mean gay people or Latino people or specifically gay Latino people? Look, I apologize. That came out wrong. I'm really sorry. It... How about we're both waiting for someone, right? Yeah. Whose ever date shows up first gets the table? All right. That sounds fair. Oh, it's good. Over. It's no chair. <laughs> Does that bother you? No. No, of course not. Do you want me to get a chair? Would you? Thank you. Hey, hon. Hey. Nice catch. I'm not a catch. Oh, and modest, too. We like that. Actually, he's not my date, Marco. He's... Straight. Totally straight. I'm straight. straight. Mm-hmm. So was my last boyfriend. He went straight to the next man, honey. <laughs> You're dating a lesbian. She's not a lesbian. <laughs> Hi, hon. Hey. How are you? Mm -hmm. Hey, what can I get for you, lady? <laughs> How can you be so sure? Oh, gaydar. You know, straight people can develop gaydar if they spend enough time with queers. I'm guessing you haven't done a lot of that. No, I know some gay people. Some of the other programmers at work. But you hang out with the straight boys, right? Not really. Most of them are techno geeks. All they know is what's in front of them on their computer screen. They even watch movies on a computer screen. How can you watch a movie on a computer screen? You need to watch it on a big screen, you know? Wait. You're a movie buff? <laughs> I told them I'm a bit of a fanatic. Me too. I mean, major fanatic. Really? Yeah, who's your favorite director? Milos Forman. Uh -huh. Mostly for Amadeus. Amadeus? You're crazy. 
I mean, if we're talking Foreman, what about People vs. Larry Flint or Cuckoo's Nest? That's a classic. Cuckoo's Nest is, yes, but Flint? No, it's not even in the same league as Amadeus. Amadeus has the costumes, the music, the, the performances. Are you sure you're not gay? <laughs> I'm positive. Oh, my God. <laughs> you think that's your date? Of course not. I'm, I'm not delusional. <laughs> God, it's beautiful. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Too groomed and pretty. You're telling me you wouldn't want to look like that if you could? Never. Okay. All right. What's your ideal body type? <laughs> You're looking at it, my friend. No, seriously. All right. <laughs> uh... All right, that guy. See? He looks like a man. Ah. Yes. Muscle boy. I can see that. He is hot, isn't he? I'm not saying I'm attracted to him. I'm just saying, you know, objectively speaking, he's masculine. I mean, not that oh, I like okay, masculine. Okay, yeah. Spare me the homosexual panic. <laughs> I mean, even if you were attracted to him, so what? I mean, I thought that lesbian you were trying to pick up was sexy. That doesn't mean I'm straight. I don't know if gay guys ever felt that way about women. Well, some don't. I mean, it's not like we come off some assembly line in Taiwan, you know. <laughs> You know, I, uh, I think my best friend in junior high might have been gay. Really? Yeah. You guys ever fool around? Did you shut up? Why would you say that? I'm not gay. No, it has nothing to do with gay or straight. I mean, all kids fool around if they get half a chance. All right, it's a fine fooling around. You did, didn't you? <laughs> nothing serious. We were 11. We were curious. Okay. I mean, I'd ask for all the gory details, but this is obviously making you uncomfortable. A little bit, but mostly, I gotta take a leak. So go. Oh, please. Please get over yourself. <laughs> Nobody's gonna jump you. table opened up. I, I thought I'd better grab it. Oh. I, I mean, you're more than welcome to join me. I'm enjoying the company. I just thought you might want your own table. Once my date shows up, I mean, looks like it's thinning out anyway. Yeah, right? <clears throat> so, how long are you supposed to wait for somebody on one of these coffee days anyway? Why are you asking me? I'm no expert. Guess I just assumed you'd done your share of these. Oh, you think because I'm gay I can't sustain a serious relationship? You think I'm not every night partying and screwing my brains out? Oh, I'm not trying to be offensive. Remember what I was saying before about being dramatic? Um... <laughs> I guess I kind of happened on a dating rampage lately. Oh. But before that, I was in a monogamous relationship for five years. At least I was monogamous. Ouch. Yeah. I know that story. I was married once, although we sure as hell didn't make it any five years. Technically, it was two, but that's only because the divorce took six months. Oh. <laughs> Sounds ugly. Man, I was a total wreck. I'm just now pulling out of it. So, are you looking to score with your date tonight? I mean, assuming she ever shows up. Or are you looking for something a little more substantial? Substantial, that's a good word. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm looking for. Me too. I, mean, I don't know, maybe I'm getting old, but 
Sex just isn't the big deal it was in my 20s. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still a big fan. It's just <laughs> there are times when I'd gladly trade in a good fuck for a little decent conversation. I know what you mean. I did the whole singles bar one night stand thing, but after a while I just got so bored. Some of the women I took home actually seemed to be offended when I just wanted to talk to them. Like about movies. Exactly. This one woman. She had her clothes off before I could shut the door. And she's staring at this poster I have of Amadeus. So I said, do you like Milo Schwarman? And she says, well, I'll try anything, but usually I like to be on top. <laughs> huh. I hope my date turns out to be half as entertaining. To tell you the truth, I'm kind of nervous about meeting him. We really seem to connect. I mean, granted, it was only through email, but... I don't know. He seems special. Did you exchange pictures? No. I, mean, I, di I didn't want it to be about that. And I know it sounds corny, but we actually talked about life, people, ideas. He's very funny and bright. I mean, unlike most people on the internet, he can actually write and punctuate a coherent sentence. And plus, he's another movie nut. What's his name? His name is... Todd. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're Kelly, aren't you? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My brother did this. He posted the ad. In the Men Seeking Men section? He's probably laughing his ass off right now. What a son of a... What a prick. Well, I guess you won't be meeting people through the internet anymore. I don't know. I mean, other than you being the wrong gender, you seemed great. And you didn't even inflate. Excuse me? I mean, you were honest about your appearance. You are above average. Oh. Thank you. That's very sweet. Listen, since you are technically my date, can I buy you a cup of coffee? Oh, thanks. That'd be nice. Black no sugar, right? <laughs> uh, Low-fat latte with whipped cream and chocolate shavings. Very good. I'll be back. Okay. Kelly. Yeah. There's an Ingmar Bergman double feature playing tonight at the New Beverly. I'm not asking you out like a date kind of thing. Hmm. I really just don't know anyone else who might enjoy Bergman. Yeah, I, I, I gotta go. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That, that, that's okay. I understand. I wouldn't want my lifestyle to make you uncomfortable. Well, I'll give you a call in a couple days. I'll let you know where I end up. Okay. Well, good luck. Yeah. So, take care of yourself. You too. No, I mean, take care of yourself. I don't want you getting the, you know... Nothing to worry about. I promise. Good. I'll uh, catch you later. Yeah.
Hi, Todd. Ask her out. She's not dating that jerk anymore. She's not interested. She's available. Besides, we work together. It'd be awkward. Suit yourself. Hello? Kelly. Hey. Listen, that little joke we played paid off better than I'd imagined. My brother was so freaked, he actually moved out. Can you believe it? Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, you're free at last. Amen. Well, good. I'm glad I didn't disfigure myself for nothing. I scratched my hand climbing out your window. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'll pull through. Hey, listen, you want to catch a movie tonight? I can't pronounce it. That German film that made such a splash at Sundance. Yes, I've been dying to see that. Jesus, you scared the hell out of me. I'm not staying. I just, I, I forgot a couple of things. Yeah, a couple of my things. Oh, but I get so thirsty. Oh, the toaster. I need you to pick up mom at the airport. Uh, she gets in around midnight. Here's all her flight info. What are you talking about? Mom doesn't fly. Well, she does now. I had to tell her, bro. She's your mom. She has a right to know. Barry, you jerk. Ow. I am not gay. I was just yanking your chain. Please. You are gay. Look at you. Look at the way you dress. Look how you decorated your apartment. Look at those light bulbs. That's a gay light bulb. The sconces? See? I wouldn't know that ordinarily, but my friend is a decorator. Oh. Uh, it's a girl. Oh. You ready to go, Hanson? Oh. Hello. Oh. Don't forget about mom. Barry. Bye. He's cute. Are we having toast? Ooh, with whiskey. Fantastic. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just. It's not it's funny. Hysterical. No, you don't know my mom. I mean, she gets an idea in her head. She's like a chihuahua with a chew toy. Look, once you explain, she'll understand and you'll have a nice, relaxing visit. The only way this is going to be a relaxing visit is if she stays somewhere else. I don't suppose you have a guest room. Uh, no. And I don't think staying my place is going to convince her of your heterosexuality. Good point. It was great, wasn't it? Brilliant. So do we have time to grab some coffee or do you need to go get your mom? Yeah, I should go. If I'm not there when she gets off the plane, she'll take a cab and then spend the rest of her visit talking about how much it costs. <laughs> Sounds like my mother. Are you sure she's not Latina? <laughs> I think it's a mom thing. It transcends race, creed, and color. <laughs> Well, thanks for going out with me tonight. I had a good time. Okay, but we didn't go out. You know, we went out. Or we came out. We didn't come out. We, we, we physically went to the movies together. But not together, you know, just... <laughs> wow! And we almost made it through the evening without a gay panic moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> In fact, I'm sorry about the whole night. I feel like I spent the entire time complaining about my mother. I don't mind listening. That's what friends are for. I guess I don't have a lot of friends. Cheryl and I had a couple friends, but she seems to have gotten custody of most of them. It's hard meeting people in L.A. Well, thanks for listening. You're a good guy. I'm a great guy. It's too bad it's wasted on you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm still trying to get over the fact that you're not a woman. I think I was half in love with you. I mean, with the woman I thought you were. Really? You give great email. Stop. You're going to make me cry. Okay, time to go. <laughs> Quit being so straight. A hug is not going to kill you. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's very nice. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Oh, baby. Mom, 
I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh, of course you're fine. I just wish you told me sooner. But that's just it. There's nothing to tell. It was just a misunderstanding. I'm not gay. You don't have to hide anymore. Your brother told me everything. I was just playing a joke on him. Remember, like, when we were kids? I remember when I caught you with that Robert naked, and I, I, I tried to tell myself nothing was going on, and all little boys are curious. Nothing was going on. All little boys are curious. Yeah, well, your father warned me that I coddled you too much. Do you think that was it? Mom, you did not coddle me. Right, right. So it's just genetics. That's what everyone is saying. I mean, they, no one blames the mother anymore. And there's nothing for you to be blamed for, Mom. Right, because being gay is okay. Really, nobody is to be blamed for anything. Although, I do wish that your father, God rest his soul, could have turned off the television for five minutes and played with his son. Mom, you are not listening. Okay? Guess go to the baggage carousel. I have two large bags. How long are you planning to stay? For as long as you need me, honey. this whole misunderstanding. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn if you leave a message. Hey, Mom, you there? Pick up. Okay, well, I'm going to try to get off work early so we can talk. Honey, Todd, this is Mrs. Orsini. She has a boy like you. A programmer? You don't have to pretend with me, Todd. Mrs. Orsini is the head of the Los Angeles PFLAG, Parents and Friends for Lesbians and Gays. She and her husband marched in this year's parade. We march every year. Did you march, Todd? Could you excuse us for a moment? Mother, I'd like to talk to you. Bring in our clothes. I'm just going to explain everything like you're... I just thought it would be helpful to have someone here who's been through it before. Mom, she hasn't been through this before. Trust Todd, me. please don't be upset with your mother. Now, this is a very hard time for her. She's really trying to understand and support you. Okay, I appreciate that. And I'm sure PFLAG is a wonderful organization. Honey, I maybe I didn't see the signs. Maybe Cheryl turned you against women. I have nothing against women. Ever since Cheryl, there's been no one special in his life. He hardly dates anyone anymore. I date. I just don't necessarily tell you about it. That's very common among closeted men who are just coming to terms with their sexuality in midlife. I'm not cl- What do you mean, midlife? Well, you're 35, honey. I mean, the lifespan of the average American male... Is- right, whatever! I'm not gay, closeted or otherwise. It's best not to force the issue. Wait till he wants to talk about it and comes to you. I am talking about it! I'm just not gay! Feel free to come to our meetings while you're in town. Oh, thank you. And I will contact you with the information for your local chapter. Oh, that's very helpful. Thank you so much, Mrs. Hersey. Oh, well. I remember how hard it was for my son and me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mrs. Donovan. I just want Donovan. to tell you, you have nothing to be ashamed of. My nephew's gay. I said my nephew is gay. You know, you should meet him. Honey, he's a dentist. No, thanks. Oh, right, you're seeing somebody. Oh, well, I hope it works out. But if it doesn't, my nephew is very sweet. Can help you with? Yeah, uh, um, looking for Kelly. Does he work here? He owns the place. Do you have an appointment? No, um, uh, I guess I'm a friend. You guess? Could you just tell him Todd's here? Yeah. Thanks. Manscaping. Quick 
trim, massage, Brazilian wax. You have to talk to my mother. So soon? Are we asking for her blessing? This isn't funny. Nothing I say seems to convince her that I'm not. And you think talking to me is gonna help? Maybe if you explained what happened, she'd see the whole thing was a joke. All right, sure, I'll try. Really? Yeah, why not? Can you come by tonight after work? Well, I was going out, but... All right, if it's that important to you, I'll be there. Thanks, you're a pal. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I'll see you tonight. Okay. I'm just gonna... Oh, okay. I was just sitting here wishing there was a half-naked man in the room. You think about sex more than any woman I have ever known. You know I'm a gay man trapped in a straight woman's body. <laughs> Why the man rush? Go about me. I told Todd that I would help him with the little problem he's having with his mother. Todd? Yes! Excuse me! Todd? The straight guy? Yes! So, what, are you dating him now? No. You know I don't go after straight guys. Mm-hmm. I don't! Mm-hmm. Shut up. So what? You don't find him the least bit attractive? I didn't say that. And that's beside the point. Well, what is the point? The point is that I can have friends I don't sleep with. I have you, don't I? Yeah, you had me, remember? That was ten years ago, and you took advantage of me, and I still let you be my friend. So my point still holds. Well... My point is that I don't want to see you get hurt. Fine. I'm a big boy. Okay? I'm not going to fall for him. What do you think? Hat? No hat? I think you're a freak. What the hell is that? <laughs> Shut up. I love you. Love you too. Don't wait up. I won't. Don't get drunk. Oh, that's boring. Men. I'm not ready to meet your boyfriend. Um. The whole reason he's coming over is to establish he's not my boyfriend. Of course, I would meet anybody that you care about. Really, I would. It's just that this is so new. Mom, the only new thing going on is that I have a gay friend. Not a lover, a friend. Gay people are so sensitive about terminology. Understood. We don't need to convince her that you're straight, just that I am. Oh, thank God. It was all a little too lacazafo for me. <laughs> oh, you must be Mrs. Muller. Mueller. Mueller. Muller. Mueller. I'm so sorry. It's such a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Well, I really can't stay, but... <gasps> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, okay. Um, well, Todd wanted me to come by and explain about the other night. There's nothing to explain. I understand. I'm an adult. Oh, well, you know, nothing happened. Your son was a perfect gentleman. Damn it. <laughs> Kelly! What? I'm so sorry. I thought I was up to this, but I'm not. Please excuse Mother. me. Mother! Oh. Where are you going? Mother! Uh, I'm sorry! Mom! Mom! Mother! I'm, you know, I, I just thought a little levity might lighten the mood. It's not your fault. She's dick. No, no, she's sweet. Mom! Mom, I'm serious. Would you please open this door? Kill him to put a mirror in here. Mom. Listen, um, I'm gonna go uh, see that new Woody Allen movie tonight with some friends. Do you want to come along? That. Yeah. Friends? Yeah. Friends. A group of gay men. You'd be the token heterosexual. Scared? No. But I don't know. Maybe I should stay here with my mom. All right. Yeah, I understand. I'll talk to you later. All right. Wait, wait, wait. He's probably going to be in there all night. Let's just go. This is the best you can do for straight. I love her. Do we have to see this Woody Allen thingy? That new Tom Cruise movie's playing. You get to see his butt. You've seen that movie five times already. Oh, this is sort of crazy now, but I think it's still kind of hot. <laughs> Not as hot as you, baby. Yeah. Todd, is that you? 
Clayton, hi, how you doing? Good to see you. Do you remember my partner, Andy? Andy! What's up? You're hurting him. Sorry, sorry. Nice night, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, this is my friend, Kelly, friend, and these are his friends, um, uh, 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 Matt and... Uh, Anthony. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Hi. So... Are you here to see the Tom Cruise film? Yeah, no, yeah, no uh, Woody Allen. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Woody Allen. Uh, he, shows, he shows his buttons. I mean, I mean, Tom Cruise does. <laughs> Not that I know that. I just uh, uh, or care. <laughs> I don't even. Well, have fun. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. He's gonna tell everyone in the office that I'm gay. What do you care? I don't know. It's just weird. I know what you mean. People are always thinking I'm straight. It's so annoying. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm serious. It happens. Yes. Oh my god. Sorry I'm late. I was getting my hair done. Whatever. I just want to get tickets so we can get good seats. I'm so hungry. I know. Me too. This place is great though. Yeah? Yeah, I've eaten here. <laughs> Fucking faggot! Asshole! <laughs> Fascist little fuck! Are you okay? I'm bleeding. Oh my god, you're bleeding! Okay, wait, let me see. Okay, okay, it's not deep. It's not deep. You'll be alright. And it's lower and you can lost your eyes. Did somebody see their plates? Well, sure. They're just kids. The cops are not do anything. Well, now you know what we go through. You know, being gay is all about disco music and sparkle dust. But this is your part of town. Well, apparently somebody needs to be better about border patrol. God. Is it still bleeding? What do you think? It looks fine, but... We should go inside and put some iodine or something on it. It's fine. I can do it myself. <sighs> You're still a little shaky. I don't want to wake my mother. Yeah, I'm a loud queen, but I do know how to whisper, you know. But it's not necessary. It's going to get infected while we stand out here arguing. Let's just go inside and fix your face. accepting as your mother don't remind me i still need to straighten out that whole mess well, what you need is a good night's sleep and the hairstyle you know what you hair. really <laughs> okay you gotta be completely honest with me okay what am i losing my hair you are not losing your hair you look right there I'm looking right there. I see hair. You swear? I swear. You need a little product. No, 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 no. I don't want to gay it all up. It's gel gay. Huh? A little dollop. Dollop sounds gay. It does sound gay. Hey, Todd. How was that movie last night? It was great. Yours? Oh, so-so. We did get to see Tom Cruise's ass, so it wasn't a total loss. Listen, you want to grab some lunch? Oh, my God, what happened to your eye? I, uh, uh, scratched it. It's nothing. Oh. You want to go to that new Indian place down the street? That sounds good. Yeah. Oh, love the hair. Okay, listen. There's something I need to explain. Kelly seems really nice. How long have you been seeing him? He is nice, but we're not dating. Oh, so you're still on the market. Andy works with this really great guy, and I think the two of you would hit it off. 
Okay, I'm not making myself clear. I am straight, heterosexual, 100%. Okay. Tofu tikka maxala. Can a guy go to the movies with a group of gay men without being gay? Is there some sort of law against that? Mm -mm. Of course, that happens all the time. You still don't believe me? It's fine. You'll come out when you're ready. No, seriously, I'm straight. Do you swear on Judy Garland's grave? What? Now, see, that would make perfect sense to a gay man. This is Todd. Hey, you want to get a drink after work? There's this little place right near here. Makes a great mojito. You've had those, right? Trendy, but who cares? Goes down easy. Kind of like you. Oh, aren't you feisty today? Well, don't believe everything you read on bathroom walls. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you can laugh about your ex. I'm not quite sure I'm at that point yet. Well, I can only laugh about it because I know he's miserable. If he was living happily ever after with that twink, I'd be a tad bitter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you didn't tell me this was a gay bar. You didn't ask. Do you only go to gay places? I mean, the movie theater, the coffee house, or I suppose you shop at a gay supermarket. Obviously. Supermarkets are great places to pick up men. I'll bear that in mind. <sighs> Thank you. Sure. You guys are a cute couple. How long have you been together? We're not. Two couple. years. We're not a couple, he's two. Well, whatever. You look happy together. Thank you. We are. Just... Hi, Todd. <laughs> I didn't know you knew about this little watering hole. I didn't. Kelly invited me. Yeah, well, we met last night. I remember. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say, um, hello. I guess I'll leave you two alone. Judy Garland's grave my ass. Mom, what are you doing? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. There's a message for you. Hi, Todd. I forgot to mention, there's a group I think you might be interested in. It's called GLIPA, Gay and Lesbian Programmers of America. I'll email you next time we have a meeting. Bye. So, you've come out at work, but you still can't talk to your own mother. I have not come out at work. He's just confused. No, Freud called that projection. Mom, I realize this looks bad. No, honey, not at all. There's something bad about your being gay. It's just what you are. But it's not what I am. Darling, I never told this to a soul, but I knew you were gay when you were a little boy. You didn't enjoy sports like the other boys. I liked sports. Well, let's say you liked reading more. Mom, I was smart, not gay. Of course you were smart. And you were sensitive. And you loved the theater and music and movies. God, you're right, I do sound gay. And when I saw you with your friend Robert, well, you know. Do you know that a couple of months ago Robert came with his life partner to visit? What a lovely man. They're so happy. They've been together 10 years now. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, that's wonderful for them, but not me, because I love women. Of course you love women. It's just a myth that gay men hate women. But that's not what this is about. I, I've been doing some reading, a book called Loving Someone Gay. Mom, I love you so much. And I know you love me and you mean well. And you're so sweet and supportive. And if I were gay, I'd be so lucky to have someone like you. But I'm not. And I don't know what else I can say or do to convince you that I'm straight. This was just a huge misunderstanding. I was just trying to get back at Barry. Oh, well, Barry's a little uptight. You know, he'll come around. He's a good boy. I'm just gonna throw this out there. You 
here alone. happens to older guys. I need to go. Well, maybe, maybe you could try that Viagra stuff. I really need to go. Why are you pounding on my door at 3 a.m.? I was looking for Kelly. I thought... Okay, he's not here. No, you have the right place. He's just not here. Oh. Doesn't mean he's out with another guy. It's fine if he is. It's not. I mean, we're not... You're Todd, the straight guy. Uh, yeah. That guess that would be me. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Bonnie, Kelly's fag hag. Hi. Hi. You want to come in? I better go. It's late. Well, I'm already up and you might as well come on in. <laughs> but I don't even know you. And you never will standing out there. Come on. Thirsty? Uh, sure. So, talk. What is this all about? You can't tell me you were just in the neighborhood at 3 a.m. Um, I, I just need to talk to Kelly. About? Well, it's between us. <laughs> Kelly tells me everything. We've been best friends for years. Hey, is this about your mother? You know about my mother? Well, just the broad outlines. But Kelly says she's really sweet. In a demented sort of way. What? Well, at least she's not a bitch. You should meet mine. <laughs> So you and Kelly live here together? Mm -hmm. We have for a couple of years now. Well, he never mentioned you. You know, I think he's been keeping us apart. Probably afraid that we're going to end up sleeping together, and then, you know, things will get a little awkward. You pretty much say whatever pops into your head, don't you? Pretty much. Does that bother you? I'm not sure yet. You know, Kelly is right. You are really cute. I'm not gay. Well, nobody said you were. Everyone says I am, but I'm not. Well, it makes no difference to me. Some of the best sex I've ever had has been with gay men. What? Mm -hmm. How do you think Kelly and I met? <laughs> Maybe I'm uh, still asleep and hallucinating this whole conversation. Maybe. Chamomile? We're gonna fuck, aren't we? Ah. Oh! Oh my mm. gosh! I'm so sorry! Here, let me get something cold. Oh, that was bad. I'm so sorry. Oh, is that better? Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes I say things to shock people, and it's fun, but I need to learn not to do it when they're holding sharp objects or scalding liquids. So you were just trying to shock me? 
No, no, I really do want to have sex with you. It's just, in retrospect, maybe I could have had a more subtle way of signaling my interest, huh? Perhaps. Yeah. You're probably not much in the mood now, huh? Yeah. I better go. I have to get up for work in three hours. You want me to leave Kelly a message? No. I'll catch him later. someone leave. <laughs> you don't usually let your tricks slam the door. That's because it wasn't one of my tricks. It was one of yours. But my tricks don't leave. <laughs> it was Todd. My Todd? Mm -hmm. Why don't you come get me? Because it is three in the morning. And because he's really cute. Yeah. He is, isn't he? And you know he's straight, right? Yes. Of course. Totally. Okay. Mm. Good night. Night. You might fool in you, are you? Hey, Todd. Didn't mean to scare you. Not that you don't deserve it. What? All this time you've been holding out on us. What are you talking about, Melissa? It's okay. You don't have to hide anymore. Clayton told us everything. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that was inevitable. I'm just hurt that you didn't think that I would understand. I mean, I may be straight, but I'm not narrow. No, it wasn't that. Listen, if you'd like to, uh, get together sometime. Diana, hi. <laughs> Todd, if you have a minute, I would love to see you in my office. Of course. By the way, happy birthday. <laughs> I want you to know that this company is behind you 100%. Thanks, but th this isn't even a milestone birthday. I mean, it oh, anybody can have a birthday. But a committed gay relationship? That's a political statement. That's worth celebrating. What? This company recognizes domestic partnerships. I mean, that's presuming you and your partner want to take that step sometime. This is unbelievable. Doesn't anyone around here have anything better to do than talk about my personal life? This is a family here, Todd. That's the only kind of company I like to run. That's great. But Todd. We're excited for you. I mean, coming out at this age, that's not an easy thing to do, especially not in this political climate. That's why it's so important. Now, if you need any help from me, you just go to my assistant and she'll let me know. That's very thoughtful, but... Anyway, I think we should get back to work, don't you? We all have deadlines. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and, 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 and but, but the thing is, Diana, I, 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 I'm not... I don't Scott. think you understand. Oh, oh I'm it, it, sorry. I mean, Todd. You can tell me, Scott. I am so looking forward to meeting your partner at the company picnic next month. I hear he's a stud. No, he, I mean, he's... <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing I want to make clear. He's not my partner. Oh, I mean, uh, he, he, Todd, would you do me a favor? I would like you to look into the Nordlinger account. Oh. Just email me an update. That would be great. Absolutely, I will you do. You have a good day. You, you too, but the, the thing is, yeah. he's not... I want to just be saying... Oh, hi! I'm so glad I ran into you. I need your advice. About what? I have a few questions about, you know, backdoor issues. We're on the fifth floor. No, 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 silly. The back door. Back door. Carl and I have been experimenting, and it's really working out great. At first, when he suggested it, I thought, oh, no, he's gay. But that's not what it's all about. It's totally perked up our sex life. Um... So, we're just using regular lotion, but I know that there's a million products out on the market. What do you think of the stuff that heats up? Is it hot, or is it just hot? 
I'm not gay, and I have no expertise in this area. Well, maybe you could ask your boyfriend and get back to me. I kind of want to surprise Carl this weekend with something fun. Thanks, you're such a doll. Okay, bye-bye. It's only me. Sorry I'm late. Hi, honey. Hi. Happy birthday. Thanks. Here's your dinner. I invited your brother. I hope that's okay. That's actually perfect. And here's some butter, mm. y'all. Um, you know, my doctor says I shouldn't have saturated fat, but if you all want... Mom, mom, it's fine. Everything looks perfect. Mom, mom, you mom I'm sure missed your home cooking. Huh. Me too, Mom. I'm sorry I haven't been around more. Oh, don't be silly. I arrived in town unexpectedly, and you're starting a new relationship. And I may be old, but I remember how exciting that was. Can the three of us talk as adults? Sure, honey. Well, as long as you don't get too... graphic. Look, um... I'm sorry if... I haven't been very open about my personal life. I guess I'm a pretty private person. And I can see how you might misinterpret that and think that I had something to hide. It's okay. I understand it now. Mom, please, let me finish. The truth is, I don't have any exciting secrets. I mean, up until recently, the most titillating thing in my life was cable television. And I guess that's why I fell for it when Barry took an uncharacteristic interest and seemed to be trying to fix me up. Hold on. Are you saying this is my fault? Are you blaming me? No, you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying, Barry. Look at it. Barry, he's a homo. He's blaming me. What? Blaming I'm not blaming you, Barry. Will you shut up? Who is it, darling? It's the police. Mr. Mueller? Yeah? I have something for you. birthday big boy from all your friends at the office um i gotta go barry sit down and eat your dinner <sighs> i kind of lost my appetite mom wow. aren't you gonna tip the nice on that what that was very nice <laughs> my card. Give me a call. I do all sorts of occasions. Bye. Oh. I just saw you kiss a man and I'm okay. I'm really okay. Aren't I progressing? I'm progressing, right? This has gotten so out of hand. Hey! We need to talk. What's wrong? I think, just for right now, we shouldn't see each other for a while. I thought you actually had to date someone before he could break up with you. We are not breaking up because we were never a couple. I, I think we should just back off a little bit. <laughs> it's such a breakup line. Oh my god, you're right. Okay, climb off the ledge. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Tonight, a man with bigger tits than my ex-wife did some sort of birthday strip Happy tease, birthday! And then kissed me! How old are you? Forget about my birthday, he kissed me! Look, as life catastrophes go, an unwanted kiss isn't up there with, say, cancer. Oh, or... Okay, so my problems don't amount to hill of beans in this crazy world. Fine, they're still my problems and my life still feels totally screwed up! Okay, what's the real issue here, huh? You don't like people thinking you're gay when we're not doing anything? Exactly. Well, that's easy to fix. Kelly! What? I just think it's a shame that the only action going on is in the minds of your friends and family. Well, sleeping together isn't gonna solve anything. What is that? Oh, night firming cream. It's my own special blend. I sell it at the store. You want some? No, I don't need night firming cream right now. Actually, you do. Anyway, look, you already have the stigma of being gay. You might as well experience some of the fun. But it wouldn't be fun because I'm not into guys. You're telling me you didn't enjoy any of the fooling around you did when you were 12? 11, and that's not the point. At that age, brushing against a tree is exciting. <laughs> I guarantee I'm more fun than a tree. 
The answer is still no. Um, can you stir this? And don't stop. Just keep stirring. Yes, yes, yes. The only reason why you're not willing to have a little fun with me is because of what it might mean about you. Kelly, I'm not attracted to you. Really? Stir. I mean, not in that way. It just... I love spending time with you, but that's not the same thing. How do you know? That's stirring. Apples and oranges! You've never heard the theory that we're all a little bit bisexual? Yes, and maybe it's even true, but what are you doing? You're... You're crazy. I'm out of here. Orange. Hi, Todd. How have you been? What are you doing here? Barry called me. Yeah, he had some very interesting questions about our sex life. I am going to kill him. <laughs> he thinks I turned you gay. Is that true, Todd? Are you gay now? It's none of your damn business if I'm sleeping with sheep. I'd like you to leave. I asked her to leave, but she insisted on speaking with you. We've spoken. Now go. I don't believe it. Even if you were a fag, I don't think you'd have the guts to do anything about it. Hey. See? Nothing. Well, hello to you, too. I didn't find that in the least bit arousing. Well, neither did I. It felt like you were trying to bash my teeth in. Oh, sorry. Do you want to come in? I think we've given the neighbors enough thrills for one evening. <laughs> what the hell's going on? What if I'm just fooling myself? I mean, everyone thinks I'm gay. Maybe I'm just in denial. You're not gay. Can you tell? I mean, how can you be sure? Do I set off your gaydar? I'm sure because you are sure. But I, 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 I'm not sure. I mean, I was sure, but I, I don't know anymore. I mean, even my own mother thinks I'm a closet case. Okay, well, your mother has issues. Tell me about it. I can only think of one way to settle this. Oh, no. No, no, no. You're not going to make me listen to Barbara Streisand, are you? I can't believe you just said that. That is such a stereotype. Okay, you know what? She's the world's greatest living singer, and criminally underrated as a director, and Yentl was the only decent movie musical of the... I see your point. What were we talking about? The one sure way to know whether or not I'm gay. Right. We have sex. And that's gonna prove that I'm straight. Well, then you'll know. I mean, it'll either be the most incredible experience of your life, or it won't. What if you're just a bad lay? <laughs> no. Okay. So, we have sex. Mm hmm. And if it doesn't send me over the moon, then I'm straight? Pretty much. What if I do like it? Well, then you've lucked into a pretty amazing boyfriend, if I do say so myself. I, I don't think I'm broad-minded enough to go through with this. Well, you've already kissed me. And you didn't turn to stone or drop dead from a heart attack. But it wasn't much of a kiss that you already pointed out. All right. Well. Let's start with that. What are you so afraid of?
there. That was a real kiss. That wasn't gross. <laughs> High praise indeed. I mean, I thought I'd want to throw up, but I don't. Okay, stop. You're making me blush. I need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. actually do this. What if it's a mistake? Finding out who you are is never a mistake. Do you trust me? Because I trust you. I really care about you. If we do this and I don't like it, you have to promise me that you won't fall in love with me. <laughs> Listen to you. Look, if it's one thing gay men are good at, it's sex. It's only about sex. Fat and decorating. <laughs> <laughs> when well, your sense of humor is coming back, that's a good sign. that bottle that you had. Enough, I guess. Good morning. I knew you'd freak out. I'm not. I just have to go to work. Was I that good? Can we not talk about this? Look, if it makes you feel any better in Latin America, guys aren't considered gay for having sex with other guys. If they're on top. Well, that's a relief, so I'm straight as long as I move to Ecuador. Look, you can be straight here if that's who you really are. I'll call you. What are you 
someone up so early? Oh, I couldn't sleep a lot on my mind. Join the club. You all right, honey? I don't want to talk about it. I love that scent that Kelly wears. What's it called? What's the scent that Kelly wears? How the hell should I know? Eternity, a fag forever, something like that. You and Kelly had a fight? Mom! No! Oh, honey, there's this thing called couples counseling. Your father and I did it. Mom, we are not a... You and Dad? Yeah, it was in the 70s. We learned a lot about communication. I really think it would be good for you and Kelly. Mother, listen to me. I don't know how many times and how many ways I can say this. He is not my boyfriend. Well, whatever he is, you care a lot about him. He's nothing to me. Look, I may not have a genius IQ, but I'm not a moron. Don't bullshit me. I need to get ready for work, Mother. You want breakfast? Hey, Todd, how's it going? Hey, did you enjoy the birthday gift we got you? The whole office chipped in. Clayton. Look, are you and Kelly going to be at the happy hour tonight? There is no me and Kelly, okay? And I'm not going to be at happy hour tonight or ever. I'm not gay. Whatever. Todd had a little spat with his boyfriend. Oh, so is that why you weren't at the meeting? There is no boyfriend, and there was no spat. What meeting? Project meeting. It's scheduled for a week. Oh, my God, I forgot. Hey, are you okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Some of us girls are going out for drinks after work. Come along. We'll cheer you up. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I won't take no for an answer. <sighs> Party. You're not going to be there dragging my ass down. Okay. Ah! Okay, so Finally. I have... Did you kick him out? Not exactly. Oh, I mean, he God. has nowhere to go. Thank you. Okay, but I told him he's got to be out by the end of the month. And you're crazy. Now you're never going to get rid of him. Tell him you're gay. Surefire way to get rid of unwanted house guests. Very nice. <laughs> no, that's not going to work because men get all turned on by lesbians. Well, men, okay, they think they want two women, but please, do the math. Five minutes divided by two? <laughs> Not even worth shaving your legs for. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. I just you. think it's really weird that men want to watch that. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just, like, I don't get it. I totally get it. Mother. Haven't you guys ever seen two men having sex? No. Yeah. Why would I see that? It's hot. Okay, oh you are officially a freak. What? Girls, come on, back me up. Oh, okay, no, I'm I'm sorry. I'm with solo. Sarah on this what? one. Okay, I just think it's disgustingly just, ugh, gross. Okay, Thank you. I mean... All right, no offense. None taken. I feel the same way. Then what? Do you rank gay porn? No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm just saying that with the right two guys, it's really sexy. I would just settle for one man. Okay. If he knew what he was doing. Hello, Can thank I get you. an amen? Amen. amen. Angelo, he couldn't even find my G-spot if he had a flashlight and a map. I have, okay? I have completely given up on having orgasms during sex. If my shower massage had a dental plan, I'd fucking marry it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize... I didn't realize girls talk like this. Like what? What are we supposed to talk about? You know, love... Love, relationships. relationships. Oh, such you know. a pretty story. We talk about that shit, too. <laughs> yeah. Todd's having trouble with his boyfriend. Oh, Is that fucking asshole cheating on you? Kelly's not like that, and he's not my boyfriend, you know? Last night was the first time I've ever had sex with a man. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh my God. It's okay. How can you guys break okay, okay, I'm not going to work tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work tomorrow. I don't think it should be long right now. Come with me. <laughs> You didn't know it could be like this with a woman, huh? I never expected this to happen between us. I never realized you were interested in me. Well, I never knew the real you. What do you, what do you mean the real me? Oh! Sorry. Well, I thought you were just another boring straight guy. 
Mm. You mean you weren't interested in me because you thought I was straight? Well, I never realized how complex you were. So because I slept with a man, suddenly I'm complex? Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. You're not interested in me at all, are you? I'm just a challenge. Of course I'm interested in you. No. No. We wouldn't even be here if you didn't think I was gay. Look, do you want to fuck or not? Of course I do, because I'm a straight man. And I've been lusting after you from the first time I saw you. I think you better go. But... <laughs> Hi, it's Kelly. You didn't pick up at work, so I thought I'd try you here. Just thought I'd make sure you're okay. Call me. Maybe you should call. Maybe you should just mind your own damn business! And not bring you up to speak to me like that. I'm sorry, I'm just a little on edge right now. Well, honey, are you hungry? Let me make you some chicken. Chicken parmesan? Hello! Oh, Mom, I'm so glad you're still here because I have to say something to the both of you. I should say so. We've both been waiting for your apology. Mom, I'm gay! Yeah, I finally realized I'm gay just like him. That's why this whole thing has been bothering me so much. <laughs> You just can't stand to let your brother be the center of attention, can you? I remember on his 10th birthday, you deliberately crashed your bike so that we would have to get you to the emergency room, and Todd's party was ruined. My bicycle? No, no, that was an accident. Darling, I am so sorry if I've neglected you, but your brother needs me right now. Ma, did you hear what I said? I'm gay! You are not gay! Yes, I am! I'm gay! But I've been suppressing it all these years, mindlessly, aimlessly, fucking as many different women as I can, hoping that it would somehow change me. But it's no use. I am what I am. How dare you use the F-word in front of your mother? Are you listening to me? I had an epiphany, and I don't have to fight it anymore because I'm gay! I'm gay! I'm gay! Just like my brother Todd. I'm not gay, it's oh, gay. yes, you yes, are. Yes, you are gay, fact. my little no, brother, and you're gay. very, okay. very good at it. You're gay, I am not I'm gay. gay. Why can't we just be gay? Anymore? No, there's no... You, you, we know together with you, the gay. You know, no, shut you. up, both of you! You are my boys. I know my boys. Barry, you are not gay, and that's that. But uh, no fair! I am gonna go lie down. You boys are putting me into an early grave. But, oh, come here, you sippy. Oh, gay all the time. You believe me? Yes. Okay, we got one sane person in this whole family. So, what do you say you uh, hook a brother up with any of your uh, hot gay friends? Okay, I... Support you, I accept you unconditionally. I'll even march with you in gay pride, but Barry, please don't ask me to pimp for you. All right, fine, just trying to get a little love. Jesus, is that so wrong? What do you got to eat? You exhaust me.
Ty? Are you all right? What? You look terrible. What, what's going on? I'm fine. Everything's fine. I... Look, just come with me. Right. Just get up. Walk this way. You're in Clayton's hands. You, out. What? Now. No. Take the fashion disaster with you. All right. Come and sit down. Right over here, honey. There you go. And tell me everything. Go on. I'm unshockable. I... I... Sex with a man. You cheated on Kelly? No, it was with Kelly. I mean, I had sex with Kelly. I mean, my first time ever with a man. It didn't work out. Oh, honey. Sometimes the first time is painful. You have to learn to relax. It's not that. It's just. I'm not gay. I'm just. not. Well, it seems like you have the whole thing figured out. Why so miserable? I don't know. I can't eat. I can't concentrate. My whole life just feels off. I'm no shrink, but it sounds like you have some unresolved issues. I know you think I'm gay. So does my mother, my brother, pretty much everyone I know. Look, in my experience, sexual identity is not decided by the masses. Right. So I'm still straight no matter what people think. Well, there's still this matter of sex with Kelly. It was an experiment to prove I was straight. Did it work? Yes. I mean, I don't feel any different. I'm still attracted to women, and I'm still not attracted to men. But you were able to have sex with one. Yes. After a few drinks. Yes. Do you know what that makes you? What? Normal. How do you figure? My grandmother always had a saying. A stiff prick has no conscience. Your grandmother. Yeah, we're all able to get off in a variety of ways. In our sexuality, our deepest feelings about another human being. That's in our hearts and our minds. Not our Jolly Rogers. Let's say I buy that. Why do I still feel so lousy? Oh, can he? Can't sleep? Sounds like love to me. I thought we'd just established that I'm not gay. There are all kinds of love. Not all of them have to do with sex. Now look, I don't think we're going to feel better until we talk to him. I mean, you talk to him. What was that for? For not calling. We just had tea. Not me, you idiot. Kelly. Oh, well, that's what I came to explain. He's not home yet. Is he furious with me? Oh, what do you think? He didn't keep his promise, did he? Promise? Not to fall in love. Oh, you know what? Don't flatter yourself, Casanova. He just doesn't appreciate being used. It wasn't like that. Oh, really? Well, what was it like? Hi. 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 Well, this is a surprise. I didn't figure I'd ever see you again. I'm sorry for not calling. I just needed some time to sort things out. Hmm. So what's the verdict? Did I rock your world, or did you have to close your eyes and think of England? C could we talk inside? Alone? I'll call if I need you. I'll be out here hoeing. <laughs> okay.
Well? Well, on a purely technical level, you get high marks. But? I can't explain it. And I don't want to hurt your feelings. It's just, on some level, I didn't feel engaged. That's because you're straight. Really? You think so? Absolutely. So, if I totally screwed up our friendship, Well, the bitchy queen in me wants to punish you. But... But I missed you. Yeah. Me too. So where does that leave us? I mean, how can we be friends if we can't even look each other in the eye? Truthfully, this is hard for me. I, you've seen a side of me nobody else has ever seen. And part of you wants to forget that side exists and forget me too. Yes. Is that really what you want? I don't know. Well, and so why did you come here? I couldn't leave things like they were. I had to explain. I had to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. But I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a part of me hoping that you'd discover your inner faggot and we'd... live happily ever after, but I'm... I knew that wasn't gonna happen. Really, I did. Maybe you should go. I'm so sorry. I screwed everything up. No. I think on this one you had some help. Tell me there's something going on between you and Kelly? 
I don't think so. Listen, I'm just waiting for you to stand up and say, I'm gay and I'm proud of it. I'm gay. I'm proud of it. Todd's just confused. Honey, let it go. You are not gay. Oh, I am gay. I am so gay. I even got my nipples pierced. Look, let me no. show you. Look, look. See? No, See? not here. It's got a tight little clamp. You do not have to be gay. It's not a competition. I love you as much as I love your brother. Mom, you should go. I love you. Okay. Bye, honey. Bye, Mom. Todd, Safe trip. let's go. I love the kids' names to be Rosie and Henry. Okay. <sighs> Happy hour? I wasn't sure you'd come. <laughs> yeah, neither was I. I'm glad you did. I ordered your favorite. Thank you. Mm. My mom thinks we should adopt a kid. <coughs> uh, well, I've always wanted children. You'd be a great dad. Thanks. You too. So is this okay with you? It's a little sweet. Not the lattes full, the two of us. It's not gonna be too weird between us. Weird, yes. Too weird. My boundaries on that have been expanding. What about you? I'm okay now. I guess I let my feelings get a little out of control. Feelings have a way of doing that. But I'm over it. You won't have to deal with any more hysterical faggot crying jags. I wasn't worried. Well, I was. For a while. But I'm not going to be doing any of that Scarlet Pine for Ashley crap. In fact, I already have a new personal ad posted on the internet. You should check it out. And this time, I posted a picture. <laughs> Smart move. You should do it, too. No, I've already met someone I'm interested in. Oh, really? Someone at work? No, someone at your apartment. Oh, my God. How weird. You're right, forget it. No, no. It's not that. It's... I was going to ask Barry out. My brother? Well, he is cute. And I already know he comes from a good family. We can double date. It would be a hoot. <laughs> you think my coworkers are confused now? Are you still trying to convince them that you're straight? No, I gave up. I mean, really, who cares? <laughs> Besides, technically, I'm bisexual, right? Uh, no. You're straight. If you were bisexual, you never would have resisted my charms. Listen to you. Hey, I'm a hot package. You'd have been lucky to have me. Oh, the clock, it strikes, welcome.